Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, hey, hello, my name is Lauren. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys five things you need to know if you are looking to get started on Etsy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it. First thing you need to know if you are looking to start an Etsy is that you are probably not going to see a huge influx in sales like immediately. And by immediately, I mean it might take a month or two or three until you really start seeing a couple of consistent sales. So this doesn't apply to everybody because if you are coming from your own website and you already have a social media following and you already have regular customers, and then you're joining Etsy, then you will probably see more of an influx in sales. Now this does not mean that um, we can't make this happen fast because we absolutely can with using things like social media and driving our own traffic, which is very important. Um, and I will link some resources down below in the description for you guys to go and check out after this one to kind of help with that. But don't expect a ton of sales just because you uploaded one listing on your Etsy shop and expect for it to start going crazy for people to be wanting to buy it and it just like flying off the shelves. Don't expect that. To be a little bit more realistic we do need to put in some work before we start to see the rewards but don't worry it will come in time i promise the second thing you need to know is that your photos for your listing need to be top notch they need to be as best as you can possibly make them so what does that look like first off the images need to be clear and high quality so you need to find the best phone that you have lying around your house or you need to find a camera so a dslr camera or something along those lines would work fantastic use the best thing that you have because this is something that you can upgrade and evolve and change over time however when you're just getting started you want to use the best thing that you have available to you so if your mom or your brother or your son has a better phone than you ask them to borrow it to take your photos because it's going to help you out in the long run it's going to really make your photos stand out once you have that image quality that you really need it is then important to have a clean and clear background and nothing that is distracting away from the product that you're selling so I always recommend a clean white background you really can't go wrong with that plus you can literally go to the dollar store buy like one or two white poster boards and use it to post one up on the wall and then one flat on the ground and then you put your product here and have it facing towards a natural light window and boom you've got a great little photo studio set up for your products and it looks very professional clean and you did it for like two dollars definitely the way to go for your photos you can also look at your competitors and people who are doing well in your niche of what you are selling and see what they're currently doing and then try and mimic it in your own sort of way especially if you already have some resources available to you or you're willing to kind of invest in that i have an entire video on how to use your competitors to your advantage on etsy which i will link up here for you guys as well as down below and at the end of the video because that one's gonna be a good one to go watch next after this. Third thing you should do is go ahead and create all of your social media platforms regardless of whether or not you're gonna be posting on them. So that means TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, literally whatever social media platform you plan on having for your Etsy business, go ahead and sign it up and create your name and just like book it on there so that no one else can take it because you don't want that to happen to you. But then it's already there and it's ready to go for if people want to follow you before you start posting on there. I would recommend, however, to only choose one or two, depending on whether or not you have the time to do it, for your social media platforms and which ones to focus on. I personally love TikTok and Instagram and Pinterest the best. And I think that you have the most chance of going viral on those, therefore creating a lot of new sales for you as a small business and as an Etsy shop owner. But I would pick one to two and focus on them solely and give it your 100%, like posting as often as you possibly can, giving yourself a good schedule, showing up on there daily so that you can start driving new traffic to your Etsy shop. Because that is how you are going to get more sales as a newer shop. Trust me. And I have a video on all the social media platforms and how to use them to help grow your Etsy shop. So I will link those down below. You can also check them out. Dev number four, guys, please do not overspend in the beginning. It is so easy to get lost in the sauce when it comes to starting your new business and wanting to have the best of the best and every single tool and thing that you can find that other shops use. Focus on the basics. What do you truly need to be successful? And focus on improving your product and creating a high quality product. And then from there, you can branch out and you can invest down the road in nicer mailers for your, for your shipping supplies or investing in your own website or a nicer camera. These are all 
all things that you can do and build on over time. You don't need to do right away up front, especially if you're not completely sure of what you're going to sell yet. Don't dig yourself in a hole. Don't do credit. Just save your monies, do what you can, and then start slow and build it up because I promise you'll get there and you'll be able to have and do everything that you want to do. And tip number five is to have fun with it. Have fun with your process of starting an Etsy shop. I know it can be incredibly difficult to kind of stay in the moment when it comes to building a small business because you're constantly thinking about, oh, if I just got to this point, then like I'd be happy with my success or I'd be happy with what I'm doing. You've got to start realizing that you need to enjoy the journey. You got to start enjoying the journey to get there because guys, that is what you're going to be doing day to day to build your business. You're not going to get to a certain point and then have to stop doing all these certain things. Find joy in all of the little daily things that you do for your business each day, whether it's creating social media videos and photos, or it's finding new ways to have high quality photos for your listings or it learning about SEO and branding or how to make your business stand out or building a story. There are so many things that you can learn about building a small business. Find joy, find joy in those because I'm telling you that is what's going to keep you sane and it's also going to help you stay consistent until you get to that point that you are making those sales. Now, if you are new to Etsy and you're just getting started, I will say that I have a ton of resources available for you guys to get you started and to really help you out. First off, I do have an Etsy beginners master course where you guys can join and I actually walk you through all the steps. We go through different areas and how to do well and to start your Etsy shop off with a bang and just everything that you need to know if you are beginning an Etsy shop. I do also have an entire playlist full of free videos here on my YouTube channel. I'll link it here at the end of the video and down below for you guys, but that's where you're going to find a ton of free content on how to grow your Etsy shop as well. Right here on the screen for you guys, I'm going to link for you the video I mentioned earlier, as well as that entire playlist full of Etsy related tips and tricks. And I'm going to have two subscribe buttons down here. Yes. One to this channel here. I have new videos every single Friday. And then of course my subscribe button to my second channel where I post more lifestyle content. So if you want to see more of me, you can head on over there. But without further ado, guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.